Hello my friends, welcome back to the channel, my name is Cordam and we are back for some more Pathfinder Kingmaker on Last Aslanti and Unfair. For today's order of business, we are going to continue doing our companion quests. We still have the Cruel Justice and the Price of Curiosity here to take care of. Uh, this one is for Jubilost, this one is for Octavia and Rigongar. We're going to start with discussing the event with Jubilost. What the hell? Where is he? Huh? Where did my people go? My people were supposed to be here. <laughs> okay, that's strange. It's for Harem. Three days still left. <laughs> what the hell happened? Okay, I think the game bugged out and... Well, I'll just <laughs> carry on. Cordoned, I never properly thank you for your help at inconsequent debates. I'm happy to do so now. I hope you don't think me entirely ungrateful. No. Have you figured out anything about that riddle? The host's answer to your question about the gnomes? Not quite, but I'm working on it. I'll certainly inform you of my findings. I must admit, such an answer is quite in the spirit of the Fae. It must lead somewhere and I will find a trail. Uh, let's just exhaust this option here, it's just what she said. Uh, I was surprised you didn't want to be freed of the Zotentropel's spell. Why did you willingly suffer it? Mm, Jubilost locks his hands behind his back. Well, you see, I understand well what the bleaching is, what a fatal effect has on gnomes. Those poor fellows were acting like that for no darker motive than desperation. Their foolish jokes allowed them to live just a little bit longer. Do you see, I don't mind becoming the joke myself, for a while of course, and not if my life was being threatened. It let someone live a couple days longer. He's a good guy at heart. So you let them continue their prank to help them, that's a worthy act. Stop or it'll make me blush. Jubilos folds his hands over his chest with a contented look. Let's talk about something else. Uh, okay, so I think that's all we had to talk about. Thanks for the conversation. Now I think we basically have to wait until he comes back to us with his findings on the riddle. And now we want to go for Rigongar and Octavius quest. I think she's fine. Plus two, plus two, okay. Keep your wits about Wait, you. am I being stupid? I am being stupid. Yeah, why am I wearing this if I have this? <clears throat> oh my god. Uh, yeah, so... This gives me a plus two enhancement bonus to intelligence. This one gives me plus four. They don't stack. So what I should have what I should have done a long time ago now is swap it for one of these hats. <laughs> so uh, I don't think any of these matter too much for me, but this one does. So take it. We just have more carry weight with it, so it's much better. Without and we are going to leave. The one thing I want to know is... Let me just check. If we are about done with building the teleportation circles, I might just wait for the completion before heading out on foot. Yeah, zero day, so I am going to just wait a bit. <clears throat> I think I can even just pass a day here. Okay. We should now have our teleportation circles done. Which means we won't have to go by foot. Now, the person I'm going to remove... Is what's going to make me sad here. But I think I'm going to remove um, Jubilost. I don't really want to lose martial prowess to bring in Octavia. We'll go like this.
So now what I want to do is we want to go over there. Ah, never mind, right. I think I want to go to Varnhold first. No, I don't think it makes a difference actually. Okay. Well, let's just let's just do this. Let's just do this. I was thinking about teleporting to Silver Step, which would bring me closer to the hideout, but it actually doesn't, so... We'll just go as we are. Harbor Rock. New place to explore. Cool. A kingdom event just as we left the Barony Range. Ah, oh, come on, man. No. Why you do this? Oh, this is goblins. <clears throat> I need Octavia to be safe. Well, I need everybody to be safe. You can start shooting. I'll send Rigongar over there. I'll send Valerie down here. And Leopard and Knock Knock go kill this guy. Because enemies will also spawn here, I believe. Right? Or wrong? Am I missing something? No. The what? Sneak fire damage from a bomb? That is unusual, but alright. Um, how do I want to help out here? Octavia, you can toss out, I guess, a burning arc over there. And I will toss out a... I'm gonna put something to the test. Fire Snake says, avoiding allies, which I think is a lie. But I'm gonna try and figure it out. We are going to aim like this and see if the leopard gets hit. Well, actually, let's swap targets now. Wait, who showed up? This guy showed up, okay. Real? Or, or did he just move at the last second? I'm I'm very curious about this. I really am. Oh no! Get oh god, this is gonna be bad for me. I think she's gonna die. Quicker a magic missile. Okay, he's dead, but no. Okay. <laughs> I was. I was expecting a lot more damage. Okay. Okay, no need to panic. These enemies are, are easy. Poor Leopard took a lot of fire damage there. Time has come. Never stop learning. Okay. I will see this through. He's fine. Let's carry on. But we do have to be careful with Octavia because she's very, very squishy. And speaking of which, do you have spells memorized? Yes, you do. I can take this out. I'm not going to use it, I don't think. I know, chill. Chili con carne. We're gonna rest, we're gonna have you go over there, and this seems fine. Knock knock. Knock knock. Mm. 
Now, this area is not <clears throat> very dangerous. That I recall. I think it's actually quite easy. We still want to buff because there's always a chance of things going sideways. I am but for the most part, I think we should be fine. Long duration buffs, let's go. We don't have Jubilos, so we're gonna be missing a lot of buffs, which is unfortunate. But oh well. Let's put this on him. Do I want to play with my Wyvern? Why not, right? No, I might, I might need it later. Okay. Let's just stay like this. Um, let's go for medium duration buffs. So you will want mirror images. And that's basically it. Am I missing anything? Yes, I am. I gotta remember casting this because since now I don't have it in the queue because it has meta magic associated, I may forget it and I don't want that. I'm listening. You are fine. Get your armor on. Now it's just a matter of drinking this, drinking that, tasting up. Let's go. Kerek, the cobbler, the guy we helped send on his way, he's apparently evil. Bitch. Don't hesitate. Let's sing Song of Our People. We can't charge him. So we charge the caster. Always kill the caster first. That's usually a, a good rule of thumb. And you three just shoot whomever. Like this guy. Oh, there was a cutscene. Well, <clears throat> he's dead. <laughs> ah. I do want to buff with protection from fire. That's true. I guess I can test this again. So you guys just move in over there. I would like to avoid the fire damage, however. Oh well. Fire snack. This fire snack doesn't actually hit any of my party members, so it's not going to really test it, but... A lot of damage. I will still confirm this. I only hurt the enemies. Yeah, if this is party friendly, it's a lot better than <clears throat> than expected, let's say. Okay, let's give you your hat again. Stop fidgeting, game. That's one of the most annoying bugs in the game, to be honest. What happened? Oh, hello. The, the inventory is starting to fidget around. Can we back up? You wait there, please. I will deal with you when I have time. Uh, let's do this. Okay. Resist fire. Protection from fire. Hello, friends. How are you? Let's see if you like this. Cleric. Together we stand. No fear. To victory. Blam, 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 blam. We can ignore that, just focus on the cleric. When he dies, the summons die. There we are. Greater Invis. That's a good scroll. 
some more enemies over here. Okay, I was trying to find some kind of caster. It's all the way in the back. Uh, I guess I can send the leopard onto him and everybody else just focus here. Alchemist as well. Whoa! Dude, you shoot very accurately. The hell? He's just downed. Holy crap. Okay, <clears throat> let's not mess around here. This guy needs to go. Summoning monsters, which sucks. I will do something different. I'm gonna do this. Okay, it's better. Dead. And dead. Come here, Mr. Kitty Cat. How did that happen to you, dude? What did that guy roll? I'm I'm very curious. I am very curious about that. Yeah, it happened here. The guy sh oh, he's flat-footed, okay. Flat-footed, he has a plus 18 on attack bonus. Rolled a 17. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. But... Okay, I have another question now. Ah, uh, right, we don't have Jubilost, so we don't have protection from arrows, so you can see why it's so important. Basically the guy shot once, and he just took out half of the HP of my Leopard, plus the Rogue also dealing 60 damage from us running away from him, was enough to just bring him down. Yeah, well, that happens. I will not falter. Come here, kitty cat. Let me heal you. We are your friends. I also heard a lot of mirror images getting burned, but everybody still has them. So I guess we're okay with that for now. Kitty cat is good enough. We will need another haste, but there's no rush for that. That's an next, but we want to we want to go this way here first. Keep your wits about you. Hey, stop. Can I charge from here? You can wait, cancel. Sing. You cannot. You cannot, and you cannot. So everybody attack, but the leopard charges. There's a bard, so swap targets to the bard. Who doesn't have AI? I don't have AI. Wonderful. You utter bitch. He took out my haste with the slow. Cutscene. Who could it be? Maestro Janush. Maestro Janush claps as he greets you with a contented smile. So, you managed to track down my messenger, locate this place and make your way here. Impressive, very impressive. I see that all that training was not in vain. You all come back playing your games. You think we don't know it's a trap? Ha! <laughs> We're ready for anything. Oh, of course it's a trap. Not for you though, my darling. Octavia, Rigongar, you've surpassed all my expectations. I can't help but feel pride in such students. I speak to you now, not as slaves. No, 
You are deserving of your freedom. You've proven I can speak to you as equals. I invite you to become part, proper members of the Technic League. You will become my left and right hands. You could have all the things this shabby baron could never offer you. Money, slaves, power, access to secret knowledge and powerful artifacts. We require just one small entry fee. The wizard pointed to you, his head. Valerie's eyes turned icy. She puts her hand on her weapon, looking at Octavian and Regongar silently, waiting for their answer. And this would actually be a very cool turn of events, right? Whoa, that's one thing I wasn't ready for. But listen up, you old piece of shit. Do you take us for brainless idiots here? You think we got through all your training and didn't learn the most important lessons? He looks at Octavia. Lesson 1. Never trust Maestro Genush in anything. Lesson 2. Hate Maestro Genush with all your heart. Enough talk, old teacher. We're here to pass our final exam. <laughs> That's badass. I like it. He locks us in. Forcing us into a fight. This lawful evil half-elf. Wizard. Level 7 only. Okay. So they're focusing on whoever is closest. He's looking at Octavia, which sucks. Let's bring her back. Okay, so everybody uh, focus maybe on this guy here. Octavia falls back. Core dumped. Their fortitude are, scores are not super high. So I'm thinking about going for a Stinging Cloud, as usual. Cordon Pina, you can just shoot the guy. And I'm gonna cast slow as well. He wants to cast slow, I'm gonna slow them as well. Screw you, bitches. Actually, point uh, over there. This one might die very quickly. Okay. He applied slow, but we applied Stinking Cloud on everybody, <laughs> so I think we're winning. Just focus on him. I'm even gonna swap for just damaging him. And I am slowed, I hate it. Let's haste up everyone with Regongar. And I'm gonna test my snake again. Let's aim it properly. Like this. We have haste. Okay, knock knock just murdered him. This should hold you. And he fills up the room with flames. Which sucks. His fighters are still here, doesn't really matter. I'm gonna try out my snake, all the same. So you stay there and you guys can go over there. And we'll see if Rigongar gets shot by that. Just confirming my aim. Okay. In theory, this should hit Rigongar and those two. Yeah, this is party safe. God damn, this is so good. <laughs> okay, I'm happy. Very misleading little spell here. All creatures. But it's party friendly. Okay. I'm happy. What are you waiting for? He's getting away. We'll catch him. We just need to set these poor people free first. Because there are slaves in these cages. No, we don't. Forget them. Can't you see the scum's getting away? Reg, we can't leave them. We used to be slaves too. And we freed ourselves. Octavia, we will nothing to these people. Will all of you stop talk talk? Stab him, stab him, stab him! Yeah, I'm gonna go with Octavia. Octavia's right, Reg. You didn't free yourselves on your own, remember? These people need our help. But Janush... Oh, damn it. Fine, let him roll himself back to Numeria. Callisto is not blind. He'll get his someday. Enough chatting then. Let's pull these idiots out of the fire. I love you. After giving Rigongar a quick hug, Octavia rushes to help the chain slaves. So I think what we need to do here is just... I don't think there's an option to, like, open the, the cages. I think you just have to talk to them. 
Which seems a little bit strange, but that's the way it works. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. And God bless you. The other ones are dead. Not much we can do about it. There are many roads to success. And now we can try to go back after him. Never stop learning. Six seconds new. We open the door, but it is too late. Hey, stop! Damn that scum, he's gone. Rigongar kicks the door frame frustrated and spits on the floor. It's alright, we'll settle the score later. No, we won't. It's over. We'll never see him again. He knows we're stronger now. He won't risk crossing us again. But Reg, that's wonderful. Do you realize what he just said? He is afraid of us now. The great Maestro Janusz just ran away from us with his tail between his legs. He's running back to the farthest corner of Numeri to sit and hide for the rest of his life, afraid we'll come after him. The annoyance on Rigogar's face slowly fades into a contented grin. <laughs> mm, you're right. That piece of shit's going to see us in his nightmares for the rest of his life. <laughs> well, indeed, we have done this. We now can search Janusz's study. Uh, I think there's no other enemies in the region. But I do believe there are some very hard checks in this area. Which I'm not sure we're going to be able to do. We still have 36 trickery. It's quite high. We have 5 minutes on good hope. Because I think the highest check are going to be trickery based. So, knock knock. Well, first of all, let's see what's actually locked. Not locked. Wand of echolocation, that's very useful. Not locked. Maestro Janusz's diary. We're gonna read this one. <laughs> oh, info. Well, 15 slaves have just been delivered from Ustalav. I made an offer for 40. More than half died on the way and the rest came with some sort of disease. I've sent them to the lab. They weren't good for anything else anyway. We had to change barracks to get rid of the disease. Burn the old one to the ground along with the slaves that remained there. I doubled my order for new ones. Delivery is expected to arrive by spring. Worthless stupid dreams. Again, the same, wrench, <coughs> the same wench as before. All night long, promising me a crown and a throne. Oh. In exchange for some piece of garbage from the stolen lands. The throne's location and the kind of crown she never mentioned. I need to prepare some magical protections. The agents have dragged back the slaves who fled two days ago. I've made an example of them. Whipped them to death in front of the others. Now to change the locks and shackles. That fake keeps bargaining. Now she's offering me all the secrets of the first world in exchange for some artifact. So she wants me to go all the way to the middle of nowhere to search for no one knows what. Just who does she think I am? I'm tired. Not a single night passes without her coming. But I'm intrigued. Maybe I'll have a use for this wench after all. Uh, this is the same... Fade that comes to us in our dreams. Now, Nairisa, ah, we know her name, comes even during my midday naps. She's so impatient. Rigonger and Octavia have found themselves a new owner. I should have guessed it would end like that. So many years and so much effort wasted. I have to do everything myself. I'm going crazy. Nairisa keeps hiding, hiding her face from me for the third night in a row. I'm trying to sleep both at night and during the day. I need some sign to know what I'm doing, uh, know that I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. It's dusty here, hard to breathe, but that doesn't matter. There's been no Technic League hideout in history as useful as this one. I was lucky that some of our people had previously arranged for a safe spot within the Stolen Lands. There could be no better place for us to set an ambush. It should be easy to lure this Baron out. My dream was short, but I got what I'd been craving. A light touch from Mrs. Nairisa was all I needed. She gave me a chance. My head won't touch Pillow again until I kill the Baron. That filth will pay for all he's done or my life is over. I will not disappoint my mistress. Yeah, well, turns out... You suck. <clears throat> this is the one for Knock Knock. So... Let's buff our friend here. With a sacred bonus. Uh, also want to check something here because... Good Hope... Again, is morale. Blessing is sacred. 
this is competence. And heroism is also morale. Okay, so no need to do it. Luck be a lady. I did it. Ooh, I did. we got it. <laughs> was this not the hard one? No, this was the hard one, I think. 47 DC. Yeah, we rolled a 15, got a 53 success. We got the old Technic League letter. And we'll look at the item in a second as well. Maestro Janush. The problem is finally solved, and we have an incident report on all damages sustained by our organization. The company of Technomancers and their robotic escort, deployed at your command, have finally eliminated this nuisance. I regret to inform you that very few of our men have survived the assault. The Myrmidon and lower class robots have been reduced to parts, and only one of our pre uh, two precious annihilators is still in service, although heavily damaged and beyond our capability to repair. At least, the case of this disaster on Numeria is finally closed for good, and the complete reports will be sent to you as soon as possible. In the meantime, I can shed some light on the main lines of inquiry at play here. For the moment, this seems to have been the work of a small group of powerful and, and well-organized individuals referred to as the five disasters until further information is recovered. I guess this might be some kind of reference to, I don't know, a, a tabletop campaign or something like that. One android unregistered with four arms and heavily customized cyberware, which is what allowed which is what allowed it to cause such heavy damage with crippling and often fatal explosives. We have not been able to repair it and put it to use. All that we have been able to extract is a chunk of strange nanite cloud that settles into a tangible form and some largely corrupted data. For now, our restoration efforts have only succeeded in extracting a self-identification of gears and several recurring names. Eloniel, Saya, Shindra, Alfreda, Max, Billy and Sandali. We are hopeful that the names of the disasters are among them and this is the only promising starting point for our investigation. What seemed to be a female angel, possessing wings and a powerful holy aura, who greatly delayed the execution of the disasters through her sustained curative powers. With her support, the disasters seem to heal faster than, than they could be damaged, and with each heal, one of our men seemed to suffer a backlash and spontaneously combust. A female devil or similar beast, horns, tails, small pointed fangs, extremely nimble. She was the last to fall, even though her damage output did not seem to match that of her peers. She seemed untouchable, until the Annihilator obliterated the general reg region she was last seen in. A human female with very str strange powers, attacking our troops with a combination of a bow and mysterious singing, she seemed to have caused sporadic mutations and a burst of aggression in her allies during battle. No traces of her or mutations remained afterwards, though we are still investigating. The last, oops, the last case is quite unusual and resists easy classification. An elven male or possibly half-elf in appearance, he threw himself into the fray drooling with rage and unleashing a storm of steel and lead with a blade and a handgun. Between two assaults, the android scratched him and he's changed into a massive six-armed creature made of water, wreaking havoc among our ranks with claws, fangs and weapons. There is clearly still much to investigate. The aforementioned disasters seem to be behind the deaths of our agents that lead to the end of our activity at the Scar of the Spider. On the Feldale side, forcing us to return to our headquarters on Starfall. Their true intentions and the motivation behind their hostilities are still unknown. Our teams have always been assaulted without a word. Despite this hard blow, you will be happy to know that our activity in Numeria should have been resumed by the time this match will, reach, will have reached you. Kalana. P.S. I attach to this letter a box containing the remains of the android. The nanites take form and fuse, but seem practically inert and unresponsive to our experts and analysis machines. Maybe you can find some use for them. So what does this do? This is the gears rule. Holding the form of a mechanical scorpion, this object is really a cluster of autonomous nanites, extracted of the soul and abilities of the android gears, combined with portions of his familiar. When placed on a character's wrist, this item merges with the character's flesh, appearing as a faintly glowing tattoo and granting several abilities to its owner. The nanites inside the item provide the wearer with multiple abilities. Fermella. Owner gets plus one to all attack rolls with bombs. This bonus increases to plus two at level 12. Awesome. Hope. Owner gains a plus two saving throws against mind affecting, death, paralysis, disease, stun and poison effects and resists fatigue for 8 hours past the usual time. At level 20, the owner becomes immune to fatigue and exhaustion. Catalyst. 
Owners bombs deal additional dice of damage as if they were an alchemist two levels higher, the owners save DCs are increased by one. And focusing surge. Once per day as a free action, the owner can activate the nanites inside this item for five rounds, gaining fast healing five, as well as immunity to poison, death effects, paralysis, stun, disease, and the effects of targeted bomb admixture extract. At level 16, the duration of this increases to 10 rounds. <laughs> so, this is an item made for Jubilost, of course. Or for a main character alchemist. Very cool that we got it. We're definitely gonna give it to um, Mr. Juby when you can. Uh, that door is locked, but we can just go around. Oh. Wait, no we can't. We have to take it from here, the key. Well, well, what have we here? Octavia flips through the pages of one of the books. Reg, take a look at this. We picked up his key, by the way. What is it? Whoa, by Callistria's tits, this is... <laughs> mm, found something interesting here. The master was in such a hurry to leave that he left something pretty interesting behind. What did you find? Octavia triumphantly points at the page of a thick volume. These are the master's ledgers. All is accounting for the last, let's see, 10, 20, yes, for the last 30 years. Do you know what this means? Holy cow. Crap! I was not expecting that much. Somewhere in these pages is me and Octavia. When we were bought, for how much, from where, maybe even from who? Oops. I'm not all that interested in my tribe, really. I already know who they are. Piles of shit to sell their children into slavery. But it might still be interesting to pay them a visit. Maybe split into their faces person or spit into their faces personally. It'll take some time to make sense of the ledger. We may not find anything, or we may find something and regret even looking. But I still want to know the truth. I want to understand who I am and where I come from. Man, it's kind of a shame that we lost so much experience on Jubilost. But, you know, it, it is what it is. I can't really change that. Focus on the goal. I could have made it so that the experience would be distributed from among everyone. But that would also mean cutting experience on my main party. I'm listening. So I would rather suffer a penalty on Jubilost alone than, you know, losing it on everyone that I... On everyone else that I care about. Searching for hidden stuff. It's not locked. I will check that out soon. I think it has some powerful spells. Scimitar plus two... And I think that is all. I see my destination. Okay. Let's see what we picked up here. This would definitely be for Mr. Rigongar. <laughs> uh, we picked up a scroll of chain lightning. Very awesome. We picked up a scroll of horrid wilting. Also very awesome. Not for us right now, though. And we got... Oh, chocolate ice cream. Copy the recipe. Nice. With that, we are ready to leave. I'm gonna leave to this side, just because. I don't think it changes anything, but... Might as well go out the... The new way. That was a strange sound, wasn't it? It feels like something got revealed, or... Uh... Oh, it did. The hilltop trail got revealed. Okay. Well, in any case, we are going to go back. I don't think I want to go for anything else right now. I could go for Sorrow Flow. This is done. Okay, <laughs> I think I will simply go back to my Bernie. I will check on my events. I will uh, go back to my normal party. As I don't want to waste any more experience on Mr. Jubilost. I and then I may go over there, I guess. Don't remember what it holds. We are almost there, my friends. Just bear with me, please. Thank 
you. We should gather our strength. Knighton. Acid oil. Thank you so much, Bokken. I really wanted that acid oil. <laughs> Uh, give me an alchemical item, please. It's gonna be better than those. What else do we have here? Ekunda, you succeeded. <clears throat> he triumphed. Lindsay leveled up. Okay. So this one, now we have Harem to take care of. And the River Tricksters... We can send, for example, Rigongar, 75% chance to win it. So do that. Our rank ups are gonna wait until I take care of my other quests. Focus. I'm gonna rest. And I'll be honest, I'm kind of interested in going for Sorrow Flow <clears throat> for the, the Twins quest. Mostly for the experience. But the thing is, once you go there... So I'm talking about this one here. Once you go there, you can only play with your main character and with um, Kaesi. Or Kalisi or whatever. And... The, the point is... I think I can pretty much deal with everything in the area with just my main character. But it also feels kind of sucky to go there and play with a severely um, underleveled companion. So I would need to study up a little bit on the kineticists in order to level it up when I pick it up and then continue on. Well, I guess I'll do that at some point, I suppose. Uh, let me just refresh here. This is for later. This is for later. I think this is for later. I may check up on her because I think that this quest sometimes is kind of strange. Later. Later, I guess. Later. Later. And I can do these two here. Okay. I'm going to check on... Shinya. In the South Gnarl Marshes. And sell some crap he picked up. Okay, so all of this can go. We got a couple of daggers plus one. Great sword plus one. Um, I don't think I need this scimitar, but for now I'll keep it. We're gonna sell some of these rings, don't need that many. One of our helmets of vast intelligence. Don't need three. 10,000 gold. Cool. So let's leave. Actually, do you have something for me? No. I can see my destination. Take her out, bring him in. I will give him his new item as well. I hope he's happy. Oh, these are bracers actually. I thought it was I thought it was gloves. Okay, doesn't matter. There you go, my friend. And I want to go to the South Gnarl Marshes. And now we have our thingies built. So we can just do this. Ah. It is so much better. It saves so much time. It avoids ambushes. It avoids having to rest. It's just... It's just very good. You should be okay. Yes, you are. What about you, lady? Are you okay? Okay, this is just... Okay, so she's okay as well. 
no need to change anything on that regard. Turn off your wand and this stuff. Not wand, the rod. We still have 28 camping supplies, that's fine. Okay, <clears throat> so we'll leave. And I'm thinking about exploring a little bit of this region and also a little bit of this region because we still have these areas left to explore. And I, I'm just basically trying to get the courage to go there eventually. Uh, okay, so let's teleport to our barony. Uh, this one. And let's go over here, I suppose. Uh, actually, over here. This has nothing. We can't cross the river here, that's a shame. Okay. Why can't I go there? Do I have to go from the right? I suppose I do. Okay, nothing here. Let's go back up. Can I... Wait, wait, wait. I can click it over here. You suck, Lindsay. You suck so much. <laughs> uh, let's go up there. Available for claiming, so I'll take it. I have 58 BP. Good. I don't remember if there's an achievement for picking up all these things. I know that I did it at some point. I just don't remember if you get an achievement. So, Harbor Rock. Let me check the wiki to see if this is a, a deadly place or if we can do it right now. It should be fine. It's just some earth elementals. I'm not even going to rest. I will take away the fatigue with um, calming touch. A rest would be welcome. Then buff to kill the enemies and then we can rest afterwards. That way we rest and we replenish all of our spells. Okay. I am your shield. I'm sure that this is likely going to be overkill in terms of buffing, but since we're going to be resting anyway after this, might as well just use everything. There's a lot of buffing. I am yours to command. You require my assistance. Okay, <clears throat> let's go. I think the only fight here is inside the cave. If I remember this right. And I think it's like one big earth, earth elemental and then two medium ones. Yeah, there we are. 15 touch AC. They don't have a lot of normal AC either. Their hit points are kind of low. So this is just very simple overall. I've been taught we sing. We charge. I can even charge the big one. I guess you can toss out one of your fire snacks. And you can toss out an acid bomb over there. And that's it. Dead, dead, dead. <laughs> like I said, overkill. 
What do you have? You have a diamond. You have a water hammer plus one, and that's all. Yeah, Th this could have been done a lot sooner in the game. They don't give a lot of experience. It's like 400 for the big one, 160 for the tiny ones. But, you know, it's... It's not nothing, it adds up. So obviously we want it. Uh, what is this? Oh, right, you can do this. I kind of forgot about it. You can see the, the areas you own. I think I'm fine without it. Um, so this is done. I guess I could explore this ancient mine. Let me see what it has. Okay, this one holds an ancient wyvern, which we can deal with very easily. We will rest, though. Oh, there you go. It's amazing. Jealous. Oh. Wait, what? Okay, I I don't know what this is. Honor and duty. Deal with missionaries of Mendev. Mendev's agents are looking for fallen tears ready to fight the Whirlwound, the source of demonic pestilence trying to devour the entire Galarian. With, will the Baron support them or throw them on his, out of his lands? Was there like an event for this? Wait for the news. The decision has been made. The Barony became an ally of Mendev and the subjects of the Baron will join the armies of Knights. But what about those who were against the missionaries of Mendev? Uh... Okay. Okay, so I have to go to my Barony maybe? Well, this will be handy now. Okay, I can do it here. Or there, okay. Oh, it was an opportunity. Dude, you failed this. Come on. Harry, unhappy to see guests. We have to go and look at this. Let me just take care of this while we're here. And then we'll leave. Now, for an Ancient Wyvern, I'm gonna buff. Probably don't... Yeah. What the hell? Probably don't need a lot of buffs either, but... Again, just playing it safe. Stop it. Okay. I don't remember this Honor and Duty thing. Let's get an extended haste and move on. I can see my destination. Uh, don't think he he might shoot fire, so let's just protect. Mr. Wyvern, where are you? There you are. Give the order. Sing. Charge. Any fun to be had. Now. I will not falter. Do not hold oh, back. Any brilliant ideas? Yes. He is very dead. Look like. He was a level 15 dragon with 35 AC. Mm-hmm. 
The words of the on the ancient stone are barely visible. Property of the house Trestrin. Focus on the goal. I think that name sounds familiar to me. Okay, I think this was all. And we're also doing these fights, well, first of all, because it's fun. We're exploring the map. It gives us experience and some items. But also, I think these are counting towards uh, the Lonely Barrow. We need to kill, basically, all of the special monsters in the world in order to unlock the Lonely Barrow. It's one of the main reasons why I'm clearing everything. What's over here? Just a pathway, okay. Why are you upset, Harem? What is going on? I don't like seeing him upset. My strength betrays me. Ah, I know what this is. Okay. Another dwarf. And they just vanished. Harem appears in the doorway, loudly shouting down the corridor and trying to block a visitor's way. However, they don't budge, and finally the priest is pushed backwards into the room, shouting all the while. Away! Go away, I'm telling you! The Baron isn't seeing anyone, he's busy, and isn't here. That didn't work, Harem. <laughs> Rudrin Skiege. For, uh, forgive me, respected Harem, but I must speak to the Baron. A young dwarf flames into the room. She doesn't look well, her face is bruised, her armor crumpled, and her arm is dressed with rags, brown from dried blood. Nevertheless, she begins with a ceremonious bow. Your Grace, my name is Rudrin, of the Skieg clan, and I've come to beg your help. My kin are in grave... Harem interrupts her with indignation. How do you know my name? I was told of you by our leader, the revered Jarmold, Thorax Paladin. He is hoping to meet you in person. He has so many questions for you. A dwarf who rejected Thorag became a priest of Grotus and now sits in an important position at the court of a baron. Such tales are rare. Harem's face is exploding with red and white spots. He furiously grabs his beard. Thorag's paladin? And he wants to talk to me? What impudence! What shameless, brazen... Although, Harem turns to you. You know, perhaps we should help them. I want to see this paladin with my own eyes. And the trap he walked in his congregation into. <laughs> Hanger, jeez. So what's this trouble you've gotten yourselves into? Many ages ago, our ancestors, together with the other clans, built a road here, and a chain of fortresses along it. Unfortunately, they were forced to leave these lands. But now that you've established order here, we decided to return, to rekindle our clan's legacy. We found the entrance to the Adamantine Shield Fortress, but when we tried to enter, Rudrun winces and touches his bandage, uh, her bandaged arm. When our ancestors left, they charmed the gate of the fortress and locked it with a key, which has long been kept safe by our clan as a relic. We brought it with us, but when we inserted it into the lock and turned, something incredible happened. The gate fell to ashes, and we saw that the lock was upon the chest of a huge golem, which attacked us immediately. Harem snorts, I'm sure the creator of this golem prayed devoutly to Thorag while he made it, never thinking for a moment that this piece of iron might someday turn on his own. How dwarvish! We managed to hide up on a hill, but we'd backed ourselves into a trap. The golem just stood below, waiting for us to come down. Two of us sacrificed their lives, distracting it to give me a chance to escape and find help. Please, save them. You are our only hope. Alright, I'll help you. Thank you, Your Grace. The Skiaga clan hoes you. Here's a map. It shows where to find the fortress. The Lost Dwarven Fortress. Harem fiddles with his beard pensively. I would ask you, if you go to help them, take me with you. I know it's folly to gloat, but I would like to see it with my own eyes, our proud guests from the Five King Mountains caught in such a mess, and then send them home with my own tongue. I hope you will allow me this small pleasure. Your Grace, I must warn you, this is no ordinary golem. He's made of adamantine. It's almost impossible to destroy, even with magical weapons. But if you wear it out for long enough in battle, it will collapse for a while to restore its strength. At that moment, you'll need to pull the key from its chest. If I know anything about mechanics, that should switch it off. And if we don't? Harem's gloomy question hovers unanswered in the silence. Okay, we're gonna help our dwarven friends. Unbreakable Metal. This is the follow-up for Harem's quest. Help the dwarven trouble. Okay, and we're gonna take Harem with us. 
that's something that we want to do. And I think we might even need to do it. I really am sad that Valerie failed that opportunity. Such a shame. But okay, I think this will be our stopping point. The next episode will be to play around with Harem's quest. And if I find the courage <laughs> and the patience in myself, I will go for the, um, the twin companion's quest to also get some experience out of it. And, you know, explore and show you guys the area as well. For now, this will be it, my friends. As always, I want to thank you all for being here with me in the channel, watching some Pathfinder Kingmaker. If you have any questions or suggestions, you know what to do. Leave a comment below. If you are enjoying the content, consider subscribing for more. Many more videos coming out soon. And it is also a free and easy way to support the channel. I hope to see you all in the next episode. And until then, stay safe, everyone.